Good evening, kindred. I am Voivode Maquette, and welcome back to Our World of Darkness, where we are doing our Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines run for Clan Toreador. Uh, we just got done talking to Isaac Abrams, and he wants us to go to the uh, Ground Zero Internet Cafe, remember those, and uh, get him... Uh, oh no, am I having more glitchiness again? No... Hopefully that's just a, I don't see any more. I guess we'll know when we punch somebody, huh? Uh, anyway, we need to go to ground zero and figure out exactly what is going on. Oh, and here comes our first interaction with mortals. Oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and didn't call, nobody knew anything about what happened to you. We thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what? Never mind. We have to help you. It's not necessary, I'm fine. Is it drugs? Something like that? Look, let me make a call. We'll, we'll get you some help. Nobody's judging you. They'll be happy to know you're alive. Who the hell are you? It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Did you suffer an amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll, we'll get everybody together. We, we can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. I think you've made a mistake. I just moved here. I don't know you. Come on, this is serious. I know it's you. Don't you recognize me? It's me. It's Samantha. What happened to you? Lady, listen. I really don't know who you are. Is this some kind of scam? But your face. You look exactly the same. It's uncanny. I can't believe it. Maybe he doesn't want to be found. Think of that. It is you. I don't think you know what you're saying. Damn. We're gonna help you. You'll see, everybody just wants to see you safe and back to your old self. Wait here, I I'm gonna make a call. It's gonna be okay. But. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Ugh. Damn it. Hate to say it, but so far the Nosferatu is the best person, or the Nosferatu, the Malkavian is the best person who handles that shit. <clears throat> Just drinking water today, by the way. Ooh. Cowboy's Guide to Cyberspace. Can I read it? Research at nine. Holy crap. Um, no, I cannot read it. Ah, here we go. Joseph K. Meeting the alley behind the fast puck. Virus alert? Sure, it's not my computer. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, that's crap. What are the apps? Available commands. Durr. Access denied. Oh. Can I talk to a Ground Zero employee? Okay. <clears throat> oh, no, I am having a glitchy issue again. Come on, man. I thought I fixed this crap. Uh, what the hell? <clears throat> I thought I fixed it. The moon is out. Everyone's in dreamland. And you've tuned in. Oh, I hate him. I hate this place. Nobody to fall asleep Stop. To. Oh. Welcome to Red Spot, home of the Monster Truck. Sepsy. 72 ounces of your favorite beverage for 89 cents. Blah, blah. 
You need help or something? Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue for a while. Hmm. Yeah, what's going on around here? You know, anything exciting or unusual? Always. Or should you come out and see my band, a bowl of cereal? We're playing tomorrow night at the crematorium. Evil. Five bucks, two drink men. We're gonna ruin the place. Interesting. Anything else I should know about? Yeah, the Vesuvius rocks. They don't let me in anymore. But damn, the girls. Are there any scientists out there with me Smuggling. Great. Maybe I'll check it out. Uh, hey, you know, you should really ask me about the special, you know? Okay, I'll bite. What's the special? I'm glad you asked that, bro. Seeing as how you're, like, trustworthy or something, I got this special where you buy some really expensive burrito tots or grapple juice. You know, they have free weapon of your choice, bro. You interested? Of course, show me what you got. Good. I will be buying these leather clothes. Uh, sledgehammer sounds like fun. And I called Anaconda. You. Well, thank God the other fucking stoners not in here today. Usually you go in there and there's this guy talking over the conversation. Hmm. The fast book. Well, there's Vesuvius. And ah, fast book. There we go. Yeah. What do you want? Are you the guy with the tape? Isaac sent me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what? Who the hell is Isaac? I don't know anyone named Isaac. Get lost, pal. Come on, I know about the tape. Just give it to me, and we can go. Tape? What tape? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I I'm getting the hell out of here. Fine. Now, listen. Everything's cool. Tell me what you're so scared about. Alright. Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. <clears throat> Why? What's going on? I, I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. But this thing... It's sick. It can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. Really? Is it that bad? Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl. The things that are happening to her. It just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. What? Ah, right, let's go with wow, you are more yellow than I thought. Every place I go, wherever I look, I see things. In the shadows, my phone rings, I hear something breathing on the other end and... Shit, I'm out, man. I'm out of this whole thing. Alright, alright. Just give me the tape. I don't have it. I stashed it someplace. You need to find ginger swans. Huh? What the hell was that? Shit. Did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. See what? <sighs> what the? Oh, Christ! <sighs> Not going in the sewer. I am, however, going to go next door and check out the sin bin, as was suggested by my dear friend at the red spot. It's the kind of thing that my Toreador would be interested in. Oh, you know what? 
We got some new clothes. Use. Nice. Can't talk to the girl at the front? Fine. Why don't we go somewhere a little bit more private? I was just thinking the same thing. Lead the way. <laughs> I love this room. This is nice. Isn't this better? You and me alone for just a little while. Away from jihad and the nonsense and the dangers. Just the two of us. Hmm. I don't want to spoil the moment. But there's a reason I needed to speak to you alone. Let's just enjoy the moment a little longer. Hmm. Let's. Just a little longer. Just a little longer. That's just going to keep saying it then. So, what did you need? I'm going to see what happens if I um, keep. Yes. Well. Okay. Moving on. The reason I asked you up here is because I and the rest of the Hollywood kindred have been under surveillance lately by hunters. I didn't want you to say anything that might draw attention. Hmm. Are you sure that's the only reason? Maybe not. I'm Velvet, Valor. But you can call me Vivi. I only let people I like call me that. Feel free to flaunt it. It's been months since I've seen anyone new in here. I was starting to take it personally. And who should finally walk in but a real celebrity? I've heard a lot about you. So, uh, wouldn't you like to know about me? Is this where you tell me you used to be a model or a goddess? Flatterer? No. I'm just a dancer. Keep it up and maybe I'll give you your own very private show. I can make your heart beat again. Tell me something else about yourself. I'm like a book. All you have to do is run your finger down my spine and crack me open to see what I'm Tell me about your hunter problem, and then we'll get fingers involved. Hunters. Yes. They've been staking out Hollywood for several weeks. They've been in Ash's club, mine, a few others. I think they're whittling down their list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. Until recently, I had one right under my nose. What do you mean? For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found a weapon in her locker and I fired her. She's still in Hollywood watching my club. And me. Hmm. Maybe I could take care of her. Would you? I think it might be a little much to ask. Sure. It'd be a crime if anything happened to you. You'd really be willing to do this for me? I won't lie. It's going to be dangerous. But if you got rid of her, I'd be grateful. Very, very grateful. Hmm. I like the sound of that. Where is she? She works over at the sin bin now. Her hair's blonde on the top. Broken heart tattoo on the small of her back. Dancers under the name Chastity. As if that wasn't a dead giveaway. Hmm. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocents killed on my account. 
so if there are other dancers or patrons around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No witnesses, please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. <laughs> I understand. I'll go take care of your problem. All right, so we are well on our way through the seduction of Velvet Velour. Either that or she's seducing me and just using me. But either way, we're going to have some fun. Let's go to the sin bin. I should go talk to to Isaac, but this is so much more interesting and worth my character's time. The mop bucket in the corner just makes it so much worse. Hey, you slick. Hey, uh, who are you? The name's Flynn. I'm the proprietor of this here establishment. Anything you want, you can get at the sin bin. Depraved ain't a four-letter word here. You know what I'm talking about? Hmm. You got a, a girl who works here with a broken heart tattoo on her back? Uh, yeah. Chastity. She works downstairs in the booze. But if you're looking for someone to, uh, pull your cork, <laughs> I got better girls than her. She ain't exactly adventuresome. You know what I'm talking about. I'm sure she'll do fine. All right, it's your dollar. But if you want a private show, you're gonna have to wait until the booth customers clear out. The girls don't come out for one-on-one -on -one action until then. Hmm, later. Figured I would do that. What? My security is still really, really low. Lock picking. Dexterity. I can't up my dexterity. What else does dexterity do? Sneaking. Sneaking would be nice to up. Alright, let's go ahead and let the... Bathroom. Yep. We'll let the blood buff die down and I'm gonna do that. Password center. Oh wow, our dexterity is zero? Holy shit. Yeah, no, I didn't deserve to be able to pick that lock. What? Try that one more time. There we go. Inventory. 
No, yeah, well, peep show is actually what we need to get into. It's center. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs> Can I throw a tantrum? I can't see my tennis. Alright, what is... That's not going to work. Peeper. Chastity. Let's see. Well, let's go uh, check on Chastity. As it is, I'm hungry. really glitching out. We got that blood square back again. And... Hmm. Hold on, witness. Can't have that. Out of curiosity. We're still at four. We're fine. This will be a nice uh, redemption arc for the masquerade anyway. <sighs> masquerade over personal issues, right? In between episodes, I'll try to fix that glitch again, because I don't know what the hell's going on. This is a glitchy as hell game, though. Thing is, I... I, like, downloaded the new patch and everything. Or the newer patch. Alright, let's go talk to VV. Look who's back. VV. Couldn't stay away, could you? Hmm. About the hunter. Mm -hmm. The hunter's dead. I asked you not to kill anyone else. You may be able to wash that blood off your hands easily, but my conscience will soak in it. Have you already forgotten Damn. your humanity? So a few kind got in the way. You're okay. That's what matters. Collateral damage. Expendable losses. Acceptable casualties. Disgusting euphemisms. Hunters are soldiers. They know they're at war. But the kind. Their lives have been wonderful. Now they're gone. I'm sure you'd like me to leave. I'll come back later. Poor, poor David Hatter. Suck. I think I might have ruined our chances with Louis. Who? David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear, just can't get a break. 
I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? Hmm. Oh, he's writing about Kindred. Yes. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A Kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kine is? Hmm. <sighs> Death. Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less than silent partner must be executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. You're asking me to destroy his screenplay. I don't think Hannah knows his collaborators as Kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of its source out of him. Once you've found out who, kill the traitor. But do not touch David. <sighs> Sounds pretty serious. I'll straighten things out. David works at the Lucky Star Motel. He's very passionate about his writing. I have to go there anyway. He wants to talk about his craft. I'm sure he'll talk about his screenplay. It may take some persuasion to get him to give up his collaborator's name, however. Leave it to me. After this is over, I promise you'll have my complete attention. I'll be back with David's screenplay. Okay, let's get a Masquerade Redemption. <clears throat> Alright. I gotta go to Lucky Star anyway, because Muddy. We have a key. Lovely evening. Shut up. I don't remember her telling me that I couldn't kill. I have some things I need to sell real quick. The moon is out, everyone's in dreams. Hola. Nobody to fall asleep next to you? Go ahead and pull the radio into bed. That's ring. And hey, why don't you call me sometime? Area code 323. Watch. Watch. Looks like somebody's been waiting in the queue quite a while to speak to yours. Uh, we're gonna collect those so weapons, I think. I hate the glitching. There's the lucky star. Let's see the key ring. Yeah, lucky star hotel room key. I don't know how the David thing's gonna go, so I'm gonna handle this part first. On the other side. Oh my god! My work is done! Okay. Get your body out of my way. Fuck. Okay, well. Hmm. I know where Brother Salvage is. That's in Santa Monica. Sorry, no vacancies. You had her. 
the writer. Writer's such a tarnished term, you know what I mean? It's like, like every other guy says he's a writer, right? Like, you write a letter, you're a writer, you know? It's like, what I do, that's like, that's screenwriting. Like, I encapsulate the essence of excellent film in my scripts, all right? Like, I'm, not, I'm like a blacksmith with pens, right? I'm a welder of montage. What do you write? Does a writer write, or does he just like ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120 page piece of film genius? But you, you know, most of my subconscious is filled with old horror films, so that's what I write mostly, I guess. Horror? What kind of horror film are you working on? Me? I'm like looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like, tons of people make vampire flicks, like popular characters, but me, I'm gonna be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it going to be scary, but it's going to be like, it's going to be believable. Do you have a scarce, uh, copy of your script around here? A good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you in the business? Man, I got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one's still a work in progress. I know a few people interested in making a vampire pick. You do? Man, that's fantastic. I, I, can, I can give you my screenplay if you promise to keep it safe. Don't worry about it. Say, any co-writers or collaborator, collaborators? I really can't talk about it. He likes his privacy. How much will it cost to share his name with me? Well, I don't know. I mean... 50 bucks? Do you know how much sending manuscripts to agents costs? You can't turn down a thousand bucks. Good enough, you know. I, he goes by Julius. I, I'm supposed to meet him under the Santa Monica Pier tonight. Please, please don't tell him about this. Pleasure doing business with you. Goodbye. I want to check my email anyway. It's been a little bit. In other words, head back to Santa Monica, handle Julius. I want to give her the script real quick, though, see if I can get some extra points out of that. stay away. Oh good, I'm still on her good side. About Hatter. Mm -hmm. Here's Hatter's screenplay. Oh, I suppose I should just tear it up. But I just, I can't. I can't rip up the product of that man's soul. Here, would you tear it up for me? I don't think I, I can't. Fine. I understand. I found the name of his source. Are they? I mean, did you? No, not yet. I'll do it right away. Okay, I was hoping. Oh, I wonder if you actually get his screenplay in your inventory. I never checked. The reason I'm saying that is because they have like all these journals and stuff you can read. I wonder if you can actually read his. I wonder if you can actually read the script. All right, off to Santa Monica. Hop in. Okay, let's go. Santa Monica. Lovely evening. Yep. I really wish they'd drop you off on, you know, the street near your apartment.
I'm really surprised they don't send hunters after you after you kill Chastity. Dude. It's getting out of hand. The glitching. The glitching. I will try not to talk about it anymore. Uh oh. Oh, you're back. I um I went out this evening and I well, I met someone and he wouldn't leave me alone, so I he came back here with me and well I thought you might wanna you know, wanna drink his blood. Oh, I love coming home to dinner waiting. Thank you, my pet. I'm just glad you're pleased. Um, he's in the bathroom. Don't worry, I locked him in. Excellent. I don't think my bathroom has a door. It doesn't. Reports a tourist bus destined for the ancient city of Angkor Wat that failed to Wednesday night was found this morning. Though without any trace of its operator or passengers, Cambodian officials have dispatched several military units into uh. the area to search through the surrounding jungle amidst concern that it is related to one of a number of southeastern Asian. Dear duckling, hi. Guess who? No. Guess. Because it's more fun that way. That's why. Oh, kitten. Have you already forgotten? It's me, Jeanette. I was just sitting here in my big, boring bedroom, all lonely. By my lonely self, when I noticed my... I was missing you. Amuse me, please. Waiting for you. Okay, well, I gotta go see Jeanette. That's nice. Promotes parental awareness of financial interest in Hollywood called the interest yeah. in the taboo themed games. Religious tourists have been flocking in droves to the Santa Maria Church in Santiago. Shut up. Okay, where was I? Sorry. I could not concentrate. <clears throat> okay. Certain financial interests in the restaurant in Hollywood called the Cavaletti Cafe. Made an offer on the establishment, more than generous, but it seems that the owners are remiss to accept. It is my understanding that renowned food critic Tommy Flayton will be writing an article about the restaurant very soon. Please intercept him and make sure the review is unfavorable. Um, I will do this out of interest. Screw the prince, but uh, that sounds like fun. Uh, uh, ooh, brother salvage we are here there's so much to do in Santa Monica we gotta go correct the masquerade issue we gotta go to brother salvage and we gotta do the thing that I want to do first which is uh, Jeanette let's go get my video banned in some countries. I think it's more the music, not the content, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. You work here. There she is. It is pleasure. I mean, a pleasure to see you again. What's going on in Santa Monica? The tide goes out, the tide comes in, and then it waves goodbye again. It'll take me a few years to wake this city up. Are you lonely? Oh, sweetheart. Desperately these nights. I'm just a lonely little girl on a rainy day. No any games we can play. Hmm. I remember something we already did. Is it possible again? Oh well, it's a little different, but entirely possible. Come sit next to me on the bed. I'll show you. Alright. Oh. 
I pretty much just do this whenever I want for her. I'm interested to see if my blood goes down. <laughs> If he talks to you afterwards. Okay, well that was fun. All right, next to help us get in bed with Evie, it's Evie. I can't even get her name right. I shouldn't be doing this. Terribly. Let me show you how. Drink at the bar. Alright, we need to handle Julius. This will help us in our situation with Vivi. If we play our cards right, we should be able to up our humanity with this situation also. Which would also probably help us with Vivi. So. Let's, uh, let's do that. Oh good, there's no one else here. What, what, what do, you, do you want? Uh, you, Julius? No, 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 no. Have you been telling mortals about us? Please. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, no. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean me. I didn't mean to. I, I don't, I uh, don't. Uh, Understand what, what, what I am. I, I, I didn't. I didn't know. <sighs> I'm sorry, but there are consequences for exposing us to mortals. <laughs> I, I'm so, so sorry. Please, please, I, I'll never do it again. Julius, the punishment for talking is death. How do you want it? Decapitation? Barbecue? Cobain special? Please, find your heart. Please. You're making this difficult for me, Julius. Knock it off. You, you, you could let me go. I, I promise. I, I, I would leave Los a Angeles. I swear. Oh. You're leaving in a coffee filter. Oh, God. 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 No. 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 Oh, I'm not going to get the option. You wretch. You don't deserve to be kindred. I'm going to enjoy this. Try my new sledgehammer. Kill Julius, collaborator, board of TV, Mr. Cold. Okay. I guess my humanity's too low. It wasn't actually giving me the option to uh, 
to let him leave to let him leave town which would have upped my humanity because it's just not in me anymore I really didn't expect the uh, Toreador to lose humanity as fast as he did let's see if we can let's go handle the uh, salvage brother situation I'm just gonna go ahead and say that the last person I fed on was on a bunch of drugs, so that's why my walls are getting all flickery. Not complaining, I'm just excusing it for myself. We have 12 points. We're so close. Our melee is good, except. Excuse me, I'd like to ask you a few questions. There he is. It's the guy from the cafe earlier. Fuck! Threw a goddamn car at me. That's two cars. You have missed both. Three strikes and you're out, Ginger Boy. Holy shit, he nearly took out my entire fucking health bar. You know, when you throw a Molotov, it might solve your current problem, but you then have a whole new problem. Such as the fact that you just threw a Molotov. And your kindred. We don't work well with fire. No! Back off, vampire! Stay the fuck back! Did nothing to you! Care to plead your case before I sentence you? Nah. Maybe not, but I have good reason to kill you. My work is done. I don't want to, but I'll fight you to the death. Work? What work? Killing weak kind? <coughs> I keep calling him a coward. What the hell do you care? I don't give a damn if you understand. Hmm. You'd better plead your case while you still can. Why? So you can pass judgment on me? So you can decide if those murderers deserve to be gutted? You'll never know how it feels. Never! Murderers? Just tell me what happened. My family, my children were butchered by small-time criminals just looking to rob a house, steal a car, take whatever. No sense to any of it. No plan. Ransom just kill them because why? Because they were there in the way. So you thought you'd get a little payback. Not one of them paid. My whole family dead, my life gone. We're supposed to let that happen. I sure as hell wouldn't stand for it. I tracked them down, hunted them, one by one, caught them all. The one that you saw in Hollywood, he was the last of them. Hmm. Felt good, didn't it? Taking a little revenge. Revenge? Justice? Whatever you want to call it. All I thought about is taking these evil animals ripping them to shreds and licking their blood from my claws. Gangrel. Yay. You gave in to the beast inside of you. At least I put it to use. How many vampires have used their abilities for a just cause? At 
least I did something. You'd better practice more control or you'll end up answering to the sheriff. I can't turn my back on the evil in this Humanity. Well, you better not turn your back on the masquerade. I won't answer to anyone and you'll never take me alive, vampire. No one will take from me again. No one. Either we go our separate ways here or one of us dies. Just remember you made me do this. My other option was to let him go, so. And he's not gonna stop. Come on, go down. Masquerade, Redemption, and Humanity Gain. Woo! Got it. Ugh. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Just walking back outside that way for some reason. Very cool. Uh, we should probably put the axe away, buddy. How's Bertram doing? Hey, birdie boy. What do you need? What was the deal with you and Therese Vorman? That was just silly vampire politicking fledgling. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. Hmm. Did you and Jeanette and Therese? Did you know Jeanette and Therese are the same person? Uh, uh, I had my suspicions. What an interesting specimen. But a pain in my dead ass for sure. Hmm. Sounded a lot more vicious than pain in your ass. <laughs> of course it did. As if vampires and women both weren't insecure enough. Get them together in one Malkavian body, and look what happens. Talk about your drama, queens. Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla's moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. Hmm. Fame and power do not intrigue you? I wouldn't want to be the Prince of Terra Haute. I leave that headache to the Ventru. Besides, there's only like four vampires in all of Santa Monica. <laughs> Some kingdom. That is funny. I wanted to ask you about something. Like what? Hmm, later. We're done. Oh my god, when I was playing Malkavia, I accidentally... I don't remember if I might have done it on purpose. I swung on Bertram and he chased me around like for the rest of the game. It was horrible. Don't attack Bertram. Going somewhere? Yeah, I am just arrived for now. Thank you, my Russian friend. Hollywood, we're going back to Hollywood. Alright. Let's go talk to Vivi while we still have time. LSD's kicking in. I thought that was like a group of cops all hanging out. I'm like, oh, oh, that's terrifying. That's terraforming. <laughs> Vivi. Vivi. Look who's back. Vivi. Couldn't stay away, could you? About Hatter. Mm hmm. I found the name of his source. Are they? I mean, did you? It's taken care of. It must have been difficult. But take some comfort in knowing if you hadn't.
someone else would have had to. I do appreciate your help. A lot. How much do you appreciate it? Yeah, it's not a lot. But it should be enough to buy yourself something. Damn, money! For a personal acquaintance of Velvet Valor. How generous. I have another question, Vivi. Mm-hmm. Tell me about yourself. Mm-hmm. How did you become Kindred? I'm sorry. I'd rather revel in the present than dwell on the past. Hmm. Me to another question? Mm-hmm. Is Velvet your real name? It is now. Another mm -hmm. question? No, forget about it. I've got to go. I'm not asking if she's a stripper. Look who's back. Vivi. Couldn't stay away, could you? Unfortunately, I have to. I'll be back. Damn. All right, well, I think we might have screwed the pooch when it comes to BV. I'm still on our good side, so we might be able to work something out later, but for right now, kind of SOL. The only question they're giving me is going to end up pissing her off. I think... Killing the other stripper really kind of put a bad precedence in her mouth, and oh well, oh well. Let's handle the Flayton thing. We got a couple minutes. More flatbread and olive oil, and take back the Chardonnay and open up a Chianti. Let it breathe for 20 minutes, and then bring it out with a ziti. Okay? I just wanted to... I wanted to know what? Interrupt me while I'm working? Do you understand that this is an important opening, and I, emphasize I, am going to make or possibly break this restaurant? Just exactly who are you to feel you have so much power? Me, Tommy Flayton. The Food Authority of Los Angeles, food critic for the biggest paper on the West Coast, radio personality for the KTLK, Chower Hour. Maybe if I reviewed more Pancake Huts, you'd know me. I just love your work. Always good to meet someone with similar tastes. This place is just horrible, don't you agree? We should go somewhere else. You know, now that you mention it, the gnocchi was a bit cold. And the ravioli might have been store-bought. Also, the decorum's a bit lacking, isn't it? This place is just an overpriced cafeteria. No stars. So, now that that's a bit so, care to join me for a drink? I know this fabulous place over here. Hmm. Oh, look at the time. I've got a meeting in the morning. Another time, maybe. <laughs> So, we're right here. We should probably talk to Isaac. Lady? Thank you. I'll watch. I hate that. NPC so much. You made good time. Hand me the item. Sure I did. He didn't have it. Hmm. Did he at least make a good excuse? He muttered something about Ginger Swan. Mean anything to you? Ginger Swan. Swan. Hmm. Not an animal. A name. Brings back a lot of memories. Seventy years ago, wasn't a man in this city that wouldn't have given up his family, career, or anything else for one night with her. Where do I find her? That depends. You believe in an afterlife? Ginger Swan's been dead since the 50s. 
Twenty years after, there are still grown men weeping at her grave. I don't know how she's relevant, but I have faith you will figure it out. <laughs> the dead actress. Right. This makes complete sense. <sighs> so let's see how our uh, character sheet's looking. We got 15 points, so five points away from that fifth level of presence, which will give us a larger, a larger rating, a larder. Will give us a larder. Anyway, will give us a larger radius, and uh, we'll be able to do some stuff. We've got no masquerade violations. The first one would be right here. And our humanity is steadily climbing. We've got two more points that we can get into that because we get double for being Toreador. And I think, I think that is where we are going to go ahead and cut this off for tonight. Uh, being in Hollywood. Um, yeah. Check our email again soon. Next episode, I think. And I think that is it. So. I am Voivode Maquette. Thank you for joining me in our world of darkness. And I will see you next time. Where we will continue this Toreador Bloodlines run through. Have a good evening.